Um, wonder kit and negatives. Ted Grand old race is ended. Yeah. Um, loves it. Is Lamy the best? I, I think what it's done is then it says not to choose, not to choose between Lamy and Gareth Champetre. Just as the last day here, Lamy had a little bit more. He's uh, was placed in a gold cup and racing post trophy. And I just think that he might have the difference of four or five pounds on Gareth Champetre. It's between the two of them. Dia Valle, I'd say, will be their danger to be third. They're three quality horses. The rest of them are only. Uh, Pretty ordinary horses, not bad horses, but ordinary horses. These were all a better class horse in their day. Yeah, he could easily have the one, two, three, four year end because yeah. John Beggs, you know, is one of Fox Hunters. Heads on the ground, but so uh, we've had lots of runners in the races this afternoon. Busy, it's been a busy afternoon for Simon Holt, but this will keep him occupied more than any I expect. Simon. I'm just looking at the uh, past winners of this, it's only been going for four years, this race, and uh, it's been. Uh, Dominated, monopolised, in fact, by Irish train runners. Spot the difference in 05, Native Jack. In the last two years, heads on the ground and Gar Champetten, who are both uh, going again. Ender Bolge has won three out of the four runnings. Nina Carberry, the winning rider for the last two years. She's on Gar Champet again as they come in. And away they go. Just pass me by and heads on the ground. We've got some different uh, colours, uh, caps on the J.P. McManus runners here. We'll try and pick them up on the way round in the red. Red cap heads on the ground, disputing the running with Pass Me By, uh, followed by Lamy in a white cap in third place at the moment towards the inside of Gar Champetre, who's in a green and yellow quartered cap. Puntel is wide, benefit 90s VA, if what a Berlieu and Dreux. Further back, Jasper's Dream with Wonder Kid towards the inside of Drumbeg. And then Florida Dream towards the back as they race towards a ditch now. A new story is just about last. Crystal Dane uh, is also one of the back markers. Uh, racing slightly uphill towards the fence known as Aintree, which is built like uh, one of the uh, fences at uh, the Grand National Course, and they are obliged to jump it on the turn. There's a sharp left-hand turn, rather like the canal turn at Aintree, and heads on the ground past me by Puntel, the first two over. So they swing this sharpest bend now, and about to race across the track with uh, three fences in a line before they uh, race across the race course proper. Puntel has come through to join past me by heads on the ground. Benefit Knight is over in fourth, followed by Evoir de Beaulieu in a black jacket. And then Gard Champet just in behind them on the far side. That's Lamy in that white cap. So they jump the next. Uh, just behind those is Drew with uh, Florida Dream to the outside. He's got a white face. So now they cross the race course and jump this next bank and hedge and swinging right-handed towards some uh, timber rails going back uphill and they're almost uh, at the furthest point after jumping this from the grandstand. Puntel passed me by, heads on the ground on the near side, the front three, jumping the timber rails. Over in fourth, Eduardo Beaulieu from Lamy and Benefit Knight and then Gar Champet. As they now head towards fence number 10. Climbing still, swinging right-handed, hedge fence following. In the midfield at the moment, he's a gaffer with uh, also Dies VA and Florida Dream. A new story further back with Drumbeg and then Crystal Dane. Jasper's Dream is one of the bet markers along with Drew. But it's still very early stages as they now head to fence number 11 of 32 obstacles in all. Puntal and Tom Studemore from Pass Me By in second. Heads on the ground is third. And then uh, Ivoire de Beaulieu and Benefit Knight and Lamy. And all safely over. Wonder Kid is one of those that's still being held up towards the back of the field. The rider on, he's the gaffer. Just got a slight problem with an iron there. Daryl Jacob, he's got it back now as they jump the next railed hedge. And Puntel continues to make it. He's been round here before Puntel. Quite enjoys the track, actually. It sweetens him up a bit. He's knocking on a bit now. He's 13. He's had quite a good career. Not always predictable, though. Going to this bank now, in the centre of the cross-country track. Puntel takes it well from past me by. Heads on the ground in third. A blunder at the back or a bad landing from Drew. And the rider was thrown up the horse's neck. They're heading to the water jump now. A little dip into it. Surrounded by spectators. Puntel from heads on the 
ground over that now swinging left-handed in front of the stands at the end of their first lap of the track it's Puntel that leads by three lengths to in second heads on the ground then pass me by Eduardo Beaulieu and Lamy and Florida Dream and out wide is Jasper's Dream up the inside behind them is Garde Champet quietly quietly at this stage followed by Dees VA and then uh, Benefit Night these are the cheese wedges the uh, double of head of banks there and they're all safely through that sequence towards the back he's the gaffer and Drew at the rear of the field just ahead of those Jasper's Dream Wonder Kid and Drum Beg towards the inside so swinging away from the stands once again roughly halfway the first lap is much the biggest two more laps but they're smaller and it's heads on the ground from Puntel over from pass me by Lamy benefit Knight, all safely over all still standing pass me by in the cheek pieces close up Eduardo Beaulieu as well on now to the bank taken in a different direction right in the center of the infield once again so heads on the ground looks like taking off first here joined by pass me by Puntel was a bit slow over the bank there and again Drew didn't really handle it very well remind us of Jasper's dream towards the back that but they're pretty well grouped together as they now race towards fence number 19 and it's heads on the ground from pass me by Eduardo Beaulieu Lamy's always been close up going nicely at this stage for JT McNamara and on the right there Nina Carbra on Gar Champet just behind Lamy they're uh, both uh, close enough at this stage with Puntal and Dees VA in a maroon jacket further back a new story Drumbeg is picking up a little bit the uh, fourth of the JP Babanis runners Florida Dream is behind those Puntal is dropping back through the field now Wonder Kid picking up a little bit from Jasper's Dream and uh, he's the gaffer towards the rear of the field the next taken slightly downhill is quite a big hedge fence with a drop on the landing side heads on the ground pass me by Lamy a little nod from Benefit Knight Puntal seems to have dropped anchor and is now in last place having led in the early stages a drawer has been pulled up after several mistakes swinging right-handed now across the center of the infield heading back towards the water jump and then they'll have one more circuit after this once they pass the stairs heads on the ground leads the way heads on the ground and Paul Carberry who won the first race this afternoon on go native lands about three legs clear over the water jump as they now race in front of the stands once again pass me by his second Lamy going nicely on the inside then if de Beaulieu followed closely by last year's winner Gar Champet benefit night out wide Drumbeck has improved and then Dees VA as uh, they jump the next and then behind them, Florida Dream, Crystal Danny, Wonder Kid, a new story is hard driven. He's the gaffer. Uh, then behind, he's the gaffer is Jasper's Dream and Puntel. Heads on the ground only by about a length there. As now they approach another left hand turn and they're going to race back uphill towards that Aintree fence. And then they'll swing sharply left handed. They'll have three more across the middle and two stuffed hurdles jumps to negotiate back on the race course proper heading to this this is eight out heads on the ground but Lamy going very nicely at this stage now they're getting more strung out one or two of them beginning to struggle but not Lamy in that white cap JT McNamara with heads on the ground Gar Champestule just being weighted with in the hands of Nina Carberry pass me by then benefit night drum beg in the greener cap it is not far off them Dees VA behind these back towards Aintree then this is six to jump look how JT McNamara McNamara is just pulling a little wide. He wants to get an angle here on Lamy in that white cap. Heads on the ground. They're both coming into the fence at a wide out angle. Here they do. They cut across now to go the shortest way. Lamy didn't jump in too well, in fact, up the inside. Got in too close and hit it fairly hard. Heading towards five out. Heads on the ground from Lamy. Heads on the ground, Lamy. Then Garchon Pedge is closing. Drum beg. Oh, it looks an end of the Bolger benefit at the moment as they jump the next. Lamy jumped that clearly heads on the ground just begin to feel it Lamy's in front but look behind Gar Champet still going really well as they jump three out then in third is Drumbeg a one two three for the JP McManus colors and the end of Bolger team Dees VA is back in four then heads on the ground Wonder Kid is making good ground from the rear and a noseband then pass me by as they race towards the second last and it's Lamy and JT McNamara from Gar Champet and Nina Carberry in third is Drumbeg and Robert Power 
as they race back towards the home straight, rounding the final turn. And this has the makings of a tremendous battle up the hill. Lamy on the right, Garchon Petch now being driven along on the wide outside, coming wide of his rival. Then back in third, Drumbeck. This is the final fence. Lamy may be just led. Garchon Petch charging at him down the near side. Lamy on the far side. Garchon Petch getting up now on the near side, trying to repeat last year's win in the hands of Nina Carberry. And he forges on Garchon Petch from Lamy as they race to the line. And a great win again by Garchon Petch. Wins the cross country chase from Lamy in second place. Drumbeg is third. A 1 2 3 for Ender Bolger and JP McManus. In fourth, a new story. Fifth, Dies VA. Then heads on the ground. Wonder Kid, Benefit Knight. And they trail back in the end to Jasper's Dream, Ivoire de Beaulieu. Florida Dream pulling up along with Crystal Dane and Pass Me By. And Drew pulled up a long way back. Nina Carberry, the. Uh, Brightest smile in jump racing, and what a lovely race she rode here. She's now won this race for the last three years, heads on the ground in 2007, and on this horse, Gar Champette, for the last two years. She was just content to bide her time all the way. Lamy struck uh, going across the track with about three or four to jump, but she had the move covered. Well, Nina Carberry, the smile says it all. You've made this race your own. And, well, one up for the boys. <laughs> Down for the boys, I should say. Oh, he's, he's a great little horse. He absolutely loves it. Oh, like, I thought Lamy had me turning in now because I get my fellow squeeze and he wasn't really picking up. So then I didn't really want to help Lamy up the straight, so I pulled wide. <laughs> and it helped my lad a bit, you know, like I just gave him a chance to get at him without bringing him on, you know, but... I did a great now. Well, you let Lamy do the hard work most of the way round because you just followed him, didn't you? Slipstreamed him. Yeah, that's, that, was, that was my plan in a way. Um, my lad always has a little bit more boot, I'd say, so he's a class horse, you know. And what did your big brother say to you just then? Oh, he's delighted. <laughs> well done. Thank you.